what's up queens and kings welcome or welcome back to my channel here at queen budgets we are tackling all financial areas from budgeting by paycheck cash envelopes savings challenges sinking funds debt payoff and whatever else comes my way so if that sounds like something that will interest you i invite you to subscribe and hit the bell notification down below so that you can stay updated on every time i upload I also invite you to give this video a great big thumbs up. It really helps support the channel. Come on and join the shmoney train. Okay, so what's up, y'all? Happy, happy new year. Um, Happy beginning to another year of your journey. If you're doing your own budgeting journey, happy new year to me because I'm so excited that I'm bringing a new year in and really taking a hold of my finances. Um, I know the setup looks a little different. So I'm just really trying to figure out where I can set up comfortably and record quietly and this is up in my bedroom, so this may be the setup, guys. I don't know. Leave me a comment below and let me know if you like this setup. I'm probably going to minimize my cash tray because this thing is huge and it just takes up so much space, but we're going to go with it for right now. Today's video, as you can tell from the title, is a cash stuffing. We are cash stuffing a hundred and fifty-eight Zulas, okay? We're cash stuffing one fifty-eight, and um, here's the money. Uh, what did, what did I want to say? Like, I really want to be able to stuff larger amounts, but when I have to pay my bills, I gotta pay my bills. I gotta do what I gotta do. So this should be one fifty-eight. Let's count it twenty. 40, 60, 80, 1, 110, 120, 130, 135, 140, 145, 150, 155, 150, I mean, well, yeah, 155, 156, 157, 158. It should be 158, and then I got a lucky $2 bill out of my account also because I only have one other $2 bill, and I am trying to collect a few of these because when my grandmother was living she said that these were um super um lucky like they were good luck so i'm going to sit this here over to the side let's put the money and then i want to show you guys something really quickly before we get started so So, um, I wanted to show you guys two things. So, one, I made this really cute keychain for my wallet. I've seen some other people putting keychains on their Moterms, and I don't have a Moterm yet. I will be trying to buy myself one for um, my birthday coming in May. So, but I did, um, I did have some beads and stuff at home. So, I made a cute little keychain. Let me know what you guys think about it. But, no, what I wanted to show you guys, is it in here? No, it's in the other one. When I was talking about the lucky $2 bills and my grandmother, so I got this, and I'm keeping it in my cash envelopes. I mean, in my um binder. Wow, I scratched that up. Oh, look at this. So this, hold on, let me hold it up. This is a gold dollar. This is $1. So I wanted um, the 50 cent piece my mom had. I don't know if you guys saw my stories, if you follow me on my social media, but I was at my mom's house when she was showing me all the old um, coins and stuff. Y'all, please excuse my nose. Um, yes, but so this is a gold dollar and I'm going to keep it because it was my grandmother's and also I think it's lucky or it's going to be my lucky coin. So I'm keeping it in here. I'm going to put good intentions over it that it brings much prosperity prosperity to me okay so we got our money together so let's pull out let's um do our uh, variable expenses and the next video i'm going to do for you guys i'm going to tr um, track my spending and show you how i track my spending that's why i have not done anything with my receipts yet 
because I will be tracking my spending. And as you guys can tell, I have some new envelopes. Well, these aren't really that, they're new to you, but they're not new to me. I made these envelopes a little while ago. And since I have a really huge wallet, they kind of fit. So um, the old ones, they were kind of crusty looking. So I'm going with these. I was thinking about adding these to my Etsy shop. I was thinking about doing like rainbow colors because I have some rainbow color um, paper that I can use to make these. Um, so let me know what you think about the rainbow um uh envelopes so let's get started okay so this is a page out of my planner with the variable expenses on it so starting out we're going to start out with food so I, I changed that one from um fast food so now it says food and grocery because um sometimes i do run out of food stamps and i really need to um buy um food with cash and today is one of those times that i ran out of food stamps so we're going to be adding 20 well i didn't run out but we're running low so i'm going to add 25 that's a 20 and a 5 and we're going to put that into the food and grocery that's just in case we run out of anything throughout the week okay so we got that. The next one is gas. We're going to put $10 in gas. Again, because my children are still on distance learning, I am not taking them back and forth to school daily. Just a $10 bill. So um, I won't be needing the normal $40 or $50 that I normally use. Next is kids. So let's find the children. That's for them. They're going to get a $10 bill also. But they haven't really been spending any money because we haven't been able to go anywhere. So, but we're still going to have that in there. So, personal, we're going to do 25 for personal. So, a 20 and a 5. 25 for personal. Miscellaneous is getting nothing. I doubt I need anything miscellaneous. And household is getting 10. I do need paper towels, and I think that's it. So $10 should cover that. And then last but not least, I started back up another envelope that I had before, but I had done away with it because I felt like I didn't have to give, but I do. So blessings. And this is for when homeless people ask me for money. And I always say I don't have any cash. So I'm going to add $3. So hopefully I can bless someone with this $3 or bless three different people with a dollar. I guess it depends on what they ask me for. And that is it for the variable expenses i've been on um doing a last week i did a no spend week so this week i'm not doing an entire no spend week but i'm doing two no spend days and tomorrow is one of them so um yeah now we can move down to our sinking funds which are in these two binders i have condense them i did have a lot more but i said i want to make my focus very precise this year so for holidays well let's start with the emergency fund so to the emergency fund we're going to add 20 dollars um hold on let me grab my pen so we currently have 281. So today is 110 22. And we are adding $20, which will give us $301. Yay! Come on, can we clap for sis? Because I am almost one third of the way to my goal and it's still january yes i did start last year but who's worrying about that we're almost to the good we're one third of the way yes girl okay so let's add 
the twenty dollars. And some of this is prop money. I think you guys know that watch me. Um, so we have 100, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 290, 300, 300, and one dollars. Oh my god, y'all. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm actually saving some money. Okay, next, we're going to birthdays because my little nephew birthday is coming and my children have birthdays coming. Also, um, because funds are tight, we're only adding $5 this time. But I do have um, a hair appointment coming up. So that'll be some extra money I can toss towards any of these binders. Okay. So we're going to add $5 and we should have 40 all together. So we have 20, 30, 35, 40. We we have $40 already in my my little my little nephew birthday get right around the corner. Okay, $40. Next, we're going to do, and last, we're going to do holiday fund. We're going to add 20, well, not last, but 25, so a 20 and a 5. Let's see what we already got in the holiday fund. Okay, so we're saving for Christmas already. And look, we got $50 already for Christmas, y'all. And it's only January. Yeah. I, I would, if y'all could see me, I would get up and do the shuffle right now. And I forgot to add on twelve thirty. I had added another five because I some um I had miscounted the last time. So let me add that five and then one ten twenty one, and we're gonna add another twenty five. So now we have fifty. Period. Poo. Okay. Now the next binder. And let me pull the planner out for this just to show you guys my progress. Let me put that back in there. Put that back in there. Okay, so this is what we're doing last. We're adding to my my um loving me self-care challenge. As you guys can see, I've already started the challenge i'm going to add another 25 so let's add the 20 and the five and the envelope it just says beauty on it because it was an old envelope that i was using um but i just this is for the self-care challenge so it says beauty on it but that's only because i'm going to use this on some beautiful stuff okay 37 plus 25 should be $62. So 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 61, $62. And my birthday right around the corner. So yeah. Yeah. So let's add it on the tracker so nobody don't come in here. And you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Like, did I get robbed or not? But. I advise you to keep your money in, inside of a safe, a, a water and a burn proof safe inside your home in a secret location until you make your deposits at the bank because ain't nobody got time for nobody playing with them. Period. Okay. Where's my darn pencil at? I just seen it. Hold on. Oh, here it is right here. So we could color in the wine glass. Look at our progress. Okay, girl, you getting it. I got to root for me sometimes. You know what I'm saying? If you don't root for yourself, who going to do it? The haters in the sidelines. Nope. The haters in the sidelines, please believe they watching. Hi, haters. I know you're watching and guess what? I'm getting my mind together. 
I'm getting my money together, and it ain't nothing you can do to stop me. Just watch me. Just, 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 just watch me. Hi, hater. Hi, haters. Okay. So we got that old color there. Now we could track. Hold on. We also got one more, which is the Christmas fun. We added 25 to the Christmas fun. So each one of these trees represents 25. So we're going to color in another Christmas tree. My Christmas tree is going to be all different colors. Why is my braid? My braid is tickling my arm, making me think it's a spider or something. So. I'm saying, though, who want to have a coloring contest with me? Because I don't play when it comes to coloring, okay? Very therapeutic, okay? Now, the whoop that is, I only added $20 to that. So, each one of these represents 50 So, when I add 30 to this 20 then I'll color in another one of these. And... go to this is just like um a snapshot tracker so i get the color in one more one more um christmas one and then i'm gonna color in one more for the self-care because i did one more self-care so this is just like all of the challenges at one glance we get in there okay You got this. You can achieve anything. Keep on going. Not every day is easy. And love yourself. And I know it say you can't achieve anything. But I meant to put anything. Okay. All right, y'all. So, that's that. Um, If you made it to the end of this video, give this video a great big thumbs up. I would appreciate it if you haven't subscribed yet to subscribe. Also, check out my other channel. It will be listed below where I post all of my spiritual content, positive mantras, um, tarot card readings, and all the other juicy stuff that I have. I love you guys. And until next time, stay safe and let's get this shamani together, baby. Peace. See y'all.